Slave City family, it is Bobby at my happy place Costco, but specifically in the frozen food section here, I haven't done a review of the frozen foods at Costco in a couple of years. And it's time to update that because there's some really exciting new stuff here that's Bobby approved. And for frozen food, it can be dicey. So when you find stuff that has good ingredients and it's freezer ready, I would jump on that. So we're gonna do what we always do. Walk around Costco, specifically frozen foods, and show you how to read the ingredients and how to buy the best in class Bobby approved products for you and your family. Less talking, more shopping. Let's walk around Costco. Let's talk about salmon for a second. We have two choices, farm raised Atlantic and wild caught Alaskan sockeye. The sockeye is not a, not a bad price. It's $13 and change a pound. The farm raised is $11 a pound. So for $2 more per pound, you can get wild sockeye salmon. And my friends, I highly recommend that because when you're talking farm raised, you're talking suspect quality. This is probably Norwegian, let's see here. No, Chile. It's usually Chile or Norway. And I just filmed a YouTube short and an Instagram reel about this. In general, farm raised quality is not nearly as good as we need it. The, uh, the aquaculture or the pens in the ocean are overcrowded. They end up polluting the ocean and sea lice and other diseases can affect these kind of fish. More importantly, these kind of fish farm raised, nutritionally speaking, are not nearly as good. So I'm saying for a mere $2 more per pound, you always want to get wild salmon, whether it's sockeye, coho, or the best is king salmon, which they don't have here. This is the opposite. This is free to swim in the ocean. And a fun fact, see the color of that? That's the real color of wild caught. The color of farm raised is not it's actually gray because they don't swim anywhere. They have to add beta carotene to their feed and also in the feed pellets for farm rays can be animal byproduct, AKA poop, antibiotics and GMO corn and soy. These are wild cod. They're wild and crazy guys, right? They eat krill and shrimp and that's the natural color. This is the kind of fish you want. I know that the uh, farm raised is fattier and juicier, that's because they make them super fat in the, uh, with the feed. This is what you want. The price is literally $2 more per pound. Go for that. They don't have it here at Costco, but the best, uh, juiciest wild caught salmon you can get is king salmon. The only place I see it is at Whole Foods. It was actually on sale for $18 per pound last week. It's normally 25 to 30. That's the fattiest uh, wild salmon. I love that one. But keep in mind, coho and sockeye are leaner but there's so much better and better for you. Don't get farm-raised salmon, in my opinion. It's not up to snuff. Let's play a game of where in the world is Leilani. She's not in the big couch today. Bum, 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 bum. Ah, oh, look at her. <laughs> she found a sweet recliner chair. Wait, 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 wait. It goes back even further. Even further, oh, wow. That's the way to get work done. All uh the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Enjoy. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to the breakfast frozen section here. Lego my ego, no, right? There's actually no Bobby approved frozen waffles on the market, but this is so Bobby approved. And the fact that it's at Costco is a total win. Organic chicken sausages fully cooked. Now organic is great because the chickens have a non-GMO feed. You don't find that very often. But when I first saw this, I expected cruddy ingredients. No, 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 this is Bobby approved to the max. Real spices. Lemon peel powder is classy as can be. No added sugar, USDA organic. Wow, wow, wee wow. To come out to 43 cents an ounce, multiply that times 16, we're talking what, seven-ish dollars a pound? For organic chicken sausage, most sausages, whether it's chicken or pork, are always made with GMO meat, meaning the chickens or the pork eat GMO feed. Organic is hard to find to get it. For that price, with no additives, no mystery meat, no lips and buttholes, that is fantastic way to start the day with some pasture-raised eggs, which some Costco's have, a cup of joe, high fives are starting the day, right? Before I left for Costco with Leilani, I made some smoothies, and some people got a limited drop of my vanilla protein smoothie that went on sale. It sold out in three hours, but it's coming back in a couple weeks. And I made a smoothie for Rose with her probiotic, and she loves it. She has it every day and it's made by Seed. Seed is a longtime supporter of the channel. I wanna give them some love for a second because for adults and for kids, they make the best Bobby approved probiotic 
on the market. And if you take a probiotic or you're in the market, seed, in my opinion, is the way to go because a lot of probiotics die in your tummy acids. They never make it to your colon. Well, seed makes one for kids, three to 17, or for the adults. And the way they do it with their custom strains of bacteria, they survive the stomach acids and they make it to your colon. And for kids, there's nine custom strains of bacteria. For adults, 24 custom strains. And my friends, they work for poop or bowel movements, for immune health, gut health, skin health. It's the bee's knees. I can't tell you how many people we've turned on to it who have seen better digestion, better bowel movements. So if you're on the market for kids, three to 17, or for adults, use my link down below. It gets you 15% off your first month's supply, um, free shipping and flat rate shipping around the world. Seed is the best. You will love it. Check them out. They are top, top. I feel like there's more frozen pizza options than ever. And none are quite Bobby approved, but I'm gonna give you the best choices, meaning better for you. This is actually new. I got so excited when I saw it. Organic product of Italy, I thought for sure be Bobby approved. And organic flour to me is a must because of glyphosate, but there's no way in Italy they're using sunflower oil, organic or not. That being said, it's still a better for you choice. And it's three Zuz for $14. If they actually used olive oil or extra virgin, it'd be Bobby approved. So still a better for you option. But let's talk about the war, the pizza war. Cauliflower crust from Milton's, cauliflower crust from Kirkland. Two pizzas, $12. Milton's, two pizzas, almost $14. But in this case, once again, not Bobby approved, but you're gonna wanna get Milton's. Why? Well, the only issue with Milton's is that the cheese is not non-GMO. So the cheese comes from the cows, the cows eat GMO grain. Besides that, I don't have any other problems here. There's a touch of cane sugar in the sauce, but I can deal with a gram of added sugar per quarter za. Now, compare that to the Kirkland one. The Kirkland one uses pepperoni. I love pepperoni and so does Rose, but this pepperoni comes from pork, that's GMO. My problem is, see right there, this also has natural flavoring. Now, is it still a better for you choice than many of the options down there? Yes. So it's still a decent option. It's still a decent option, but in the war of the cauliflower crust, the winner goes to Milton's. Not Bobby approved, but better for you. This one is a relative newcomer to the warehouse here. I've seen people scan it with the Bobby approved app. I'm guessing it's Costa Rica brand, Pura Vida. Fire roasted vegetable melange. Wow, they're going Costa Rica with the fancy French word there. I like fire roasted anything because the sabor, oh my God, he fumbled. The sabor from the fire roast is off the charts. And I was super happy to see that they're cooking it in what oil? The best anti-inflammatory polyphenol rich oil, extra virgin olive oil. What kind of salt are they using? Himalayan pink salt, unrefined, do I wish. The bell peppers were organic. Well, yes, because bell peppers are technically on the dirty dozen list, but still, I mean, this is Bobby approved. This is clean oils, clean vegetables, clean salt. What else do you need? You got four pounds for $4. Fire that up for an easy side dish. You're good to go. Um, by the way, the Bobby approved app, has over 100,000 barcode scans a day. You guys are keeping me very busy because I have to review a lot of those each night because not every product's in our database. Go to the App Store, go to the Google Play Store. My app is free. Search Bobby Approved. You can, it's cold. You can download it. You can scan any barcode of food, personal care, or household. It tells you, is it Bobby Approved or not? Meaning, are the ingredients best in class? It'll highlight the cruddy ingredients and give you better alternatives. It's like having me go shopping with you. Thank you for supporting it. We have really good uh, coupons on there just for app-only users. Check it out. You're going to love it. Now, this is something I always have in my freezer. You cannot go wrong with riced cauliflower at four pounds for $2 a pound. That, uh, $2 a pound, yeah, that's a great deal. It's actually cheaper to buy this than to buy your own cauliflower from the store and rice it yourself. But this is actually Bobby approved. This is riced cauliflower stir fry. I was shocked the first time I saw this and the ingredients are clean as can be. There's no cruddy oils. There's no filler ingredients. I think there might be a touch of sugar, is there? There it is, organic sugar, but there's so little, it comes up as zero added per serving. 
This is great because it's an easy side dish. You can just sear a piece of chicken, steak, or fish, or shrimp, and put that on top of it. It's very rare to find something like this that's pre-made, that's Bobby approved, and as tasty as can be. So either get this for $3 a pound, or I always have probably two bags of these in my freezer to make my own uh, stir fries and whatnot. Boom goes the dynamite, boom goes the dynamite. Two great choices. It's nice to have frozen fruit in your freezer for making smoothies and whatnot, especially when things are out of season or they're expensive for the grocery stores. But I ask you this, leave a comment down below. Would you rather buy organic blueberries, thinking those are better, or do you think wild blueberries are better? Pause the video, leave your comment down below. We'll wait for you. If you said wild blueberries, you're correct, because wild blueberries actually have twice the amount of antioxidants than organic blueberries. And even though these are organic, meaning the spray on there is organic approved, which is very important because berries are sprayed with a lot of harsh chemicals and um, pesticides, wild blueberries aren't really sprayed at all. And this one actually says tested for pesticide residue. So you don't have to worry about that. They're nutritionally better. They're smaller. Any kind of berries like this are big and fat. Why? because we Americans love big, fat things. Bigger the better, right? They cultivate these blueberries to make them bigger, the same the, the way they do with these strawberries. You know, the strawberries are ginormous, but they ain't got no flavor, right? I prefer to get wild blueberries because even though they're teeny tiny, they have more sabor, more flavor than these big, fat ones. So wild blueberries are where it's at. Always have them in your freezer. You can't go wrong. And to further our talking about wild caught versus farm raised, the same is true for shrimp. We have so much Gulf of Mexico and local domestic wild caught shrimp here in the US. There's no reason to buy farm raised like that. I mean, look here, they have wild caught Key West, Florida. We have Argentinian red shrimp and we have the Gulf of Mexico one because the quality of farm raised is just not up to snuff. It's almost always from Southeast Asia. Where is this one from? Vietnam. And the quality of the farm raising down there is not good. You have the same problem as the salmon, as the salmon overcrowded pens, bad feed, and they actually employ slave labor. They can employ slave labor for the shrimping business. Watch a documentary on Netflix called Sea Spiracy. Bottom line, get wild caught shrimp. We have so much in this country. The Argentinian ones are good too. There's no reason to get farm raised shrimp. How's it going over here? <laughs> she hasn't so moved the whole time and that's a smart move. Uh, but that is it for the frozen food review. We got lots more exciting stuff, especially reels and short form, thanks to the digital creative master of Leilani over there. But from Costco, we leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking, mad love and peace later.